Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is the weekly energy foresight for October 4th, 18th, <laughs> 18th through the 24th. Oh my gosh, October is just speeding right through. It is crazy. I cannot believe next week is it's the last week in October. What in the world? Where did it go? <laughs> so for this week, well, for all of October, I've been using the Shadowscapes Tarot deck, which is beautiful. But this week was the Four of Cups. And the message that came through the Four of Cups was working through all of these energies swirling about can be very exhausting and at times maddening. Take a break, go for a walk, take in the beauty of the season, smile, breathe, show gratitude for what you have, feel blessed. And when you do, more blessings will come your way, which is so true. I know it's hard sometimes, especially when we've got so much chaotic energy going on whether that is well here in the united states we've got the elections going we've got well we all have mercury retrograde we all have the doubling of the thinning of the veil and you know we still have this new world we still have that quarantine we still have the virus we still have so much stuff that feels like it's just never ending but it's very important for us to put into perspective how we're feeling, how we're acting, and take the time to really be able to breathe. Breathe and just allow yourself the time to rest, to rejuvenate. All those beautiful rewords that go with Mercury retrograde, just feel free to tap into those and really deep belly breathe and really allow yourself to rest rest and rejuvenate very important for this time i know it feels like sometimes when we do that we just get bombarded with other energy that just comes in and some of that could be because of the thinning of the veil especially with this week is um the cups so it's really about emotional stuff emotional stuff may bubble up and when we take the time to go within really rest our bodies our physical bodies our energetic bodies rest as well and so it can really energize our our being our energetic being and really be able to take on those kind of emotional stressful times at what seems like is a lot of times nowadays we also because of the doubling of the thinning of the veil feel free to tap into your spirit team ask for help ask for guidance ask for any information that can help you in the changing and challenging times that we find ourselves in right now, they can help you so easily, especially right now with our veil that our, our evolution and our transformation on a higher level brings us closer to that spirit, then we can actually get the information easily and more effortlessly. Sometimes even when we're not even expecting it, such as when we take the time to breathe and really relax and try and ground and just give ourselves just a little bit of self care self love it seems like they're like oh my gosh she's open let's go or he's in, let's just go and <laughs> get our message to them and so um sometimes we just need to kind of ask for a few minutes of peace and that's okay you can ask for your own peace you have the power to do so healthy boundaries doesn't have to just be in the physical world we can have healthy boundaries in the spirit realm as well we can ask for just some peace for a few minutes and then let them know when you're ready to get the information again there again it may be a little bit um on the emotional side so by allowing yourself to go into nature allow yourself to go into nature and really kind of tap into the healing aspects of nature. It does really help to lift our vibrations, lift our spirits, and just be able to heal a little bit. Um, and we offer that all the time. So even if you don't live 
forest or next to nature necessarily, just getting out and experiencing breathing in the air and just tapping into time and space for you to be able to just be. That's very important. All right, so for midweek, midweek, oh, for the week, I went ahead and grabbed the angel heart sigils. They're mystical, mystical symbols to tap into the angels and your higher self to really um, dig deep on what is needed at this time. So for the first part of the week for midweek, which is the 18th through the 21st, we got Archangel Jophiel and thrill and what this card is really asking us to do is to tap into that sense of when we are experiencing from a heart center our truth that passion that thrill of life and if you haven't experienced it for a while sometimes especially with what's been going on sometimes we don't feel that passion we don't feel that energy we don't Feel the thrill of life. And what it's asking us to do right now is to really tap into what makes us happy, what makes us have that passion and that heart centered drive to really do or be or experience. Tap into that thrill of life. And if you're not sure, ask for guidance. Archangel Jophiel is there to help us. Find that thrill again so that we can have that passion to really carry forward the messages, the gifts, the information that we need to deliver to the world, and also what we can expect to get from the world and even our higher self and the spirit world. So just tap into Archangel Jophiel for that midweek, which is going to be the 21st or the 18th through the 21st. So Archangel Jophiel is there really helping you find that passion and thrill for life again. Even if you feel like there isn't any because of all of the sadness and this, this chaos, there still is and it's within you and you can find it. You may just need some help and you've got Jophiel on, on the line ready to help you at any time. And then for end week, which is the 21st through the 24th. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this month has just flown by. Is Archangel Gabrielle and it's prophecy. This card is telling you that the work that you do in the beginning of the week is really all about your soul's journey, your soul's path. What is going to be passionate bring up that passion within you, what is calling you, what's going to make your heart sing. And this is exactly what Archangel Gabrielle, who is a creator angel, they love, Archangel Gabrielle loves to create, inspire, and really help you to dig deep and find your creative outlet, your creative passions. And the prophecy is all that it has been written down. It is all about you finding it and really going for it because this is exactly what your calling is. And so if you are having trouble with that, just know that this week is a really deep emotional time to really tap in to your passions, your what makes your heart sing, what makes you joyous and inspired. Tap into that feeling, that thrill in life. And the prophecy part of it is your soul's path, your soul's journey. And it will come to light as soon as you find that passion again. And it may change. It may have changed from a month ago, but that's okay. What are you passionate about now? Maybe it's to combine things that you've done in the past or it's to combine things that you thought about do the future. Just know that whatever that is, you're going to sense it. You're going to really feel that unfoldment of what your soul's journey, your life purpose truly is. And you're going to find the ways in which to go down that path. That is the true prophecy for this week. <laughs> So you take care. Have a wonderful week. It is a very emotional week, but make sure to give yourself time to breathe and to experience because it's a big week for your benefit to find your life 
purpose, your soul's journey, and to be able to act upon them with that thrill and that passion to make your heart truly sing again. All right, have a wonderful day. And as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings.